Hi. It's been a while, I know. But I've been trying to do this whole editing thing and learn the whole process by myself, so it's kind of where most of my time has gone. However, I have still been diligently working on the Bayard Revenge model. Like I said, I would. I never stop. It's been finished for a couple of weeks now. The thing that's taken me a long time again has been the editing. It is what it is. Now, that being said, editing is going to be changing quite a bit these next couple of videos as I dial in the settings and kind of like find what makes it work for me, as well as camera angles and other things. So, like, I'm sorry for like the ADHD and nothing being the same. It's probably not going to be the same for a while. Anywho, this time I went through and I painted up Bayard or the Emperor's Champion or the Space Marine guy doing the thing right and he actually turned out pretty good there's a couple of things i don't like about it however you know i mean beggars can't be choosers i'm not the world's greatest painter i'm not a golden demon winner i'm just a guy in a room that being said i'm not gonna make any of you guys wait any longer Ooh. <laughs> So starting off, I just primered the entire model using the Chaos Black Rattle Can from Citadel. Following that, I hit it with a very, very thick Xenocall highlight from above using the Protocryl Titanium White. So next, I slathered the entire model using one part Leviathan Blue, one part Black Templar, and two parts Contrast Blue. Making sure to cover the entire model. Then I'll hit the entire model with a nice dry brush using scale 75 heavy metal. Then we'll start to pick out some of the details and we'll start with his little crotch cape. I'll base that with Pro Krill's ivory with a simple recess shade using Seraph and Sepia. I'm just going to slather this all over, but I'm not going to apply it too thick because you don't want any heavy pools, which will lead to copy staining and just overall make it look not good. Once the serif and sepia is dry, I go back in with the original base color and I start to pick out all the raised edges. Then building on top of that layer, I'm going to start adding a little bit of titanium white to the ivory, mixing it little by little to start to create brighter and brighter tones. Now, for all the brown leather bits, I'm just going to use two thin coats of Protocrow's Dark Umber. Jumping ahead, I'm going to start picking out some of the metallic. I use Rune Lord Brass to start to pick out some of the more decorative metal pieces, like the hilt on the sword, the lantern, and the necklace as well. Then, using Scale 75's Heavy Metal, I'm going to start to go through and pick out all of the actual steely metallic bits, like the bolter, the chain, the sword, highlight the higher edges on the armor, give it more of a heavy metal, like CW paint style. And as I was painting along, I started to not really like how the Rune Lord brass was looking on the sword and the necklace, so I decided to cover that up with Retributor armor, just to give it a little bit more pop and color. Crow's burnt red. I'm going to pick out the little prayer banner with his jump pad. Then for the highlight, I'm going to use a combination of burnt red and bold red from Pro Crow and incrementally add more of the bold red so it becomes brighter and brighter until I'm highlighting with a just pure bold. So far, so good. Got all the base coats on and already started doing some highlights, so I think it's coming along quite nice. Ah, 
it appears my ADD kicked in again, and I completely just stopped painting the leather books. So uh, let's go back and finish those, shall we? I'll start by covering all of the brown with Agrax surface coat to give it a nice, deep coat. And then once the Agrax earth shade dries, I'll go back over it with my original base tone, hitting all the raised edges and all the creases and whatnot, just to kind of give it that more GW heavy metal highlight style. And then for the final highlight on all the leather bits, I'm going to go over it, the edges again with a mixture of light umber and golden brown from Chrono Chrome. Increasing the amount of golden brown in my mix until again I am working at a full pure golden brown on the very very edge of the highlight. Just building it up slowly and then using a little bit drier of a paint on my brush so that I'm not oversaturating and pooling or throwing paint. And honestly, I really love this leather recipe because it's a very simple way to do it and it looks amazing to put it on. Then I'm going to start to go through and pick out all the metallic highlighted areas just on the edges, and the raised parts, things that would catch the light the most. And again, using the more traditional James Workshop heavy metal style, I'm going to increasingly add brighter metallics to this mix to just really add a nice little bright gleam to the end of all the little like edges it's a simple easy nice looking way to do tmm for this as well i'll even catch both sides of the power sword blade using stoke 75 scrap metal in very thin coats just to try to give it some of that that sheen look i'm still working on dialing in how to paint a power sword as i believe a lot of people are so you know this is a step in the right direction and i like the way it looks and now for the fun part i use pro acryl's bull titanium white and i started to slowly and methodically try to pick out all of the white areas on his pauldron and his little face cross being cautious with my mixture not making it too thin so that it will you know spill over onto the black armor but not making it too dry to where it is just crusty and chalky as whites tend to do. Again, being slow and methodical, I go through and try my best not to allow any of the white to spill over onto the armor. A little bit is going to be inevitable, unfortunately, but I definitely try to minimize that as much as possible just by taking my time and really controlling the viscosity of my paint and thinning it and adding more, just so it doesn't roll around and dry up. Now after a couple of nice thin layers of this titanium white and a little bit of off camera cleanup, it turned out pretty good. And now that I have the white out of the way, I'm going to start painting the outer edge of the pauldron, starting off with Pro Acryl's Burnt Red. For some reason, my camera still likes to pick this up as more purple magenta-y, but mind you, it that's my fault. It's actually... Now, using the same red formula from before, I'm just going to increasingly add Pro Acryl's Bold Red and just make it brighter and brighter until I am painting with your Bold Red, of which I will be hitting the very, very edge highlight. It's looking pretty good and we're almost done. We've got to go through and pick out a couple of smaller details and just button up a couple little spots and he will be complete. Now for the final project. After, you know, really sitting here and 
focusing and trying to paint on camera and do the thing. I've, I'm very, very satisfied with the outcome of this. Uh, I mean, I think the orc skin, especially for my first orc, I think it looks really good. I would like to get more practice on it so that my High Marshal Hellbrecht will look extremely good with that cool little tiny orc at the bottom. Um, I mean, another thing I would really like to work on personally too is white. I mean, I'm sure everybody says that. White freaking sucks to paint. Even if you got Pro Acryl or whatever the, your favorite white is. My favorite is Pro Acryl. I don't even like the best. It still sucks. It's. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. But another thing I really like to focus on is I got the Scale 75 and the Pro Acryl Metallic set. So I really, really, really want to dial in my GMM and really make it to where it pops like i see some of the guys out here on instagram and youtube and other platforms doing tmm and it looks legit like it looks real it is phenomenal i hope to get there one day but i mean for putting in about i would say collectively 10 to 15 hours in that ballpark i'm not very good at timing myself i i will start timing myself eventually um Lucian, I think. You know what I mean? But I mean overall I'm very happy with it. I, I like the orc skin. I like the way the basin turned out. I really appreciate like this black combination that I kinda stole. Thank you, Eons of Battle. Um, but kinda added my own little twist to it. You know. I'm really starting to like a lot of these new paints I'm getting, you know, most of them being from the Pro Acryl. I've really have stayed to mainly citadel my first like two or three years of painting but now i'm as i'm going into like year three or four i'm starting to branch out into other paint brands and let me tell you citadel freaking sucks there's a couple of good paints I'll, I'll always throw that caveat in there there are some good paints and of course there's going to be bad paints for every line but overall i'm finding and hopefully, as I continue to acquire more commissions, do of my more of my own painting, and you know, start to film myself painting more and more, it'll just kind of encourage me and push me to be better and better and better. You know, overall though, I'm extremely happy with this one. The customer this was for is extremely happy with it, and I mean, that's all that matters at the end of the day, right? So don't forget, you know. Do the whole YouTube shebang, the like, comment, subscribe thing. I would really sincerely appreciate it. And if you felt like sharing it too, hopefully it makes it get a little bit, kind of a little bit bigger. And you know, who knows what else we can do with this channel? Maybe do some giveaways and other stuff. Paint more. Do a huge army painting batch stream kind of deal. I have a lot planned. Um, we're gonna see how it pans out though. Anyway. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video, even though there was a huge wait in between. My chair just squeaked horribly. Wah. Of course, it's not going to do it anymore. Oh. Anyway, hope to see you guys in the next video, and don't forget to get out there and paint some plastic, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>